Hmm. And so I named it Focus Blast. I see. A man of culture. Yeah, I've been giving all the all the characters like ridiculous names. Like there was another character. Did you ever watch the Marvel Netflix shows? The Marvel Netflix shows? Yeah, like Daredevil, Jessica Jones, Luke Cage, Iron Fist. No. No? Alright. Well, like they all like came together at the end to form the Defenders. Mm-hmm. And um there was um one character that he got that had like a defender ability. And so I named it hashtag save Daredevil. Okay, so Cause... right now. Right now, my Greninja knows Hydro Cannon, Night Slash, Extra Sensory, and Ice Beam, and I have the opportunity to teach it Gunk Shot. Should I go for it? Should I not? I am thinking a no. Yeah, I was gonna say, I mean, unless you want physical coverage. Okay. And then there's one last thing we'll be able to do here, and that is use... I think we still have this thing. I don't know what it's called. You got it like really early in the game. Ability patch. I'm gonna save before I use this thing. Because if this thing does not give me protein, I will be very upset. But we should be able to use this and we can change our ability to protein. So you already know what we're doing. And just like that, we have a protein Greninja. Oh, Bro, you have no idea. There you have go. no idea. Actually, let's give the scope lens to Fuma. I think we're probably good. All right. So, so let's go over our party real quick. We've got Jin, level 56 Garchomp holding the leftovers, with Rock Tomb, Dragon Claw, EQ, and Crunch. We've got Fuma, our level 61 Greninja, which I believe. Yeah, I believe we caught the Shadow Greninja, right? Yeah, because it's got 85 in every EV and 31 in every IV. Um, and we used our little ability thing on it, so we got protein on uh, on this thing. And it's got Hydro Cannon, Night Slash, Extra Sensory, and Ice Beam. It's holding the scope lens. Next we have Salem, our level 65 Delphox with Flamethrower, Psy Shock, Shadow Bone, Psychic. Pretty sure Salem's not going to change for the rest of the series. Same thing with Voyagers, our level 64 Torterra holding the leftovers. It's probably going to uh, keep with EQ, Leech Seed, Woodhammer, and Curse throughout the rest of this game. We've got Luke, uh, level 65 holding the Metal Coat, which we did... We did switch up as well. We did originally have it being a special attacker. Uh, but recently, or last stream, we figured out that, uh, hey, it's actually a better physical Pokemon. So now it's got Extreme Speed, Close Combat, Sword Stance, and Meteor Mash. Pretty much an entirely new moveset um, apart from Meteor Mash. Next we have Polaris, level 50 Artogicus, who we're still training up, but... But Polaris is getting there. It's got Air Slash, Aura Sphere, Yawn, and Dazzling Gleam as the move set. I think our team's pretty solid, personally. I think our team's pretty solid. Obviously, there's some holes. Uh, specifically, Ice type um, can be a hole because we've got Jin and Polaris and Voyagers. But Fuma and Salem both resist, and Luke Quad resists, I believe. Um, I would have to double check on that, but anyways, let's go ahead and fly out to um whatever island it is. <laughs> um Yami Island. And we immediately hear one of the best themes in Pokemon Conquest, so I'm okay with that. Um all right. I forget, I remember we have to get like keys or something like that, and if I remember correctly, we already went through this place? Yeah, so we already went through this house. I think we need two more. Dark Island, time for pain and suffering. Yes indeed. Alex, welcome to the stream. 
I'm sure you have a reason for not being in call, but you can join the call whenever you'd like. Anyways, uh, let's continue on. Oh, hello there. Outsider spotted commencing elimination procedures. Oh my. All right. All right, all right, all right. Akui Clan Haijo? Possibly? I don't know. Outsiders must be eliminated. This is the way of the Akui Clan. Akui Clan technique, shadow style, ninja agility. You really about to boost Hariyama's speed. Icicle Kunai? Hey, yo! No, I don't appreciate you. I played through the entirety of Conquest, but without sound because it was on my phone. I have never heard the soundtrack and I regret it so much. Yeah. I mean, here's the thing with the Conquest soundtrack. It does get repetitive. It has a lot of the same themes. Where obviously you could say like Pokemon has a lot of the, like the main series games has a lot of the same themes throughout. But still, I really feel that like... We're going to try Polaris here, by the way. I really feel like... It's almost like the same melody that is repeated multiple times, but I don't know. I, I would have to re-listen to the soundtrack, but I can tell you that um, I can tell you that there are certain themes that are extremely good, and the the one that uh, that this island's theme is is one of them. I can't talk today, apparently. Or think. Oh, and since there's a decent amount of viewers here, I guess I'll make the announcement that there's a new five-minute review going up tomorrow. So I hope I hope everyone's excited, because I'm so glad I finally got another five-minute review out, and I'm working on another one. And when I say I'm working on another one, I mean I'm playing that game currently. Eyes? Yeah. How oh, crazy, right? Okay, Como. -o. Wait, you just, you just don't want a fairy type move. You, you really hate fairies on this time. Ends. Yes, indeed. Kenny, welcome to the stream. You didn't die to a dazzling gleam. This, th we resist this, right? Yeah. Look at this. Our level fifty-one Polaris doing a job against uh, a pseudo legendary. Yeah, Pokemon Ends is not the is not the game that's being reviewed tomorrow on the channel, but it is the next game I'm working on. Mighty Ana. As much as I would love to uh, continue with the uh, Togekiss, I'll stay. Ooh, a Shadow Mighty Ana. Interesting. Well, if you survive a Meteor Mash. I'll try and catch you. How about that? Okay. Play rough. That's neutral. That's neutral, though. We're okay with that. That's neutral. So now, I don't remember how many Pokeballs we have left. We have a decent amount of Pokeballs left. Let's go ahead and pop an Ultra Ball. After a few more turns, we'll probably go for uh, Timer Balls. But we're not going to need that because we've already caught our Shadow Mighty Ana Polaris is level 53. And down goes. Uh, Hyjo, I believe. Correct me on any names I'm getting wrong, of course, as always. That j that should just be a general rule in the Caterade 5 stream. <laughs> Alright, let's heal up our Mons. Okay. Dude, I love this theme so much. I'm, I'm always going to continue saying that. Oh, hello there. Nobody will ever sneak up on me. I'm not letting anyone get past me. Oh. I see how it is. Well, I guess we're, we're going here. Hold it right there. You don't belong here. Yami Island is for Akui Clan members only. Hmm. Something... Something I'm hoping is not the case is that um, every single time it's these ice kunais... Uh, on this island because that's super annoying because then basically your lead is useless you need to be eliminated a quick clan technique shadow style clones of darkness all right 
Shakunai. I'm confused about this because I thought ground types couldn't be paralyzed, but I, that might be in like a future gen, so I might be... Oh my, that did a lot of damage. Okay. You can calm down there, sir. Well, speaking of uh, Pokemon that Polaris is good against. Go ahead. Bring in Togekiss. Or... Yeah, speaking, speaking of Pokemon that, that Polaris is good against, let's bring out Polaris. What am I doing? Hey, yo, can you like not, not just like miss Dazzling Gleam, please? If I want to miss a move, I'd use Air Slash, but I don't want to miss a move, so I'm using Dazzling Gleam. Polaris is level 54. Jeez, Togekiss is the goat. Yeah, I think Togekiss is a really good Pokemon. At least for Yami Island so far, it seems really good against almost everything that it's taking on. Of course, we get paralyzed the moment I say that. We should... Dude, Polaris is so bulky, it's not even funny. Though I don't... I'm not a fan of how much damage this Fury Swipes is doing. Okay. Air Slash will take out the Simisage. There we go. Now we should probably remember that the next Pokemon coming in is probably a Shadow Pokemon. So Sh Shadow Lifeguard's coming in. We'll bring in Fuma. How about Fuma? I don't know. Bring in Fuma. It is, dude. Oh, that that sprite is so cool. I know I'm saying this about like almost every sprite so far, but geez, this is really clean. Let's go ahead, become an ice type, get some stab ice beam in here. You should eat that, right? Yeah, there you go. Shadow Rush, though. It's doing quite a bit of damage. All right. Let's Ultra Ball and hope. There we go. Got the life hard. Unfortunately, other than the Greninja, which... I still don't remember if it was a Shadow Greninja that we caught. I'm going to assume it is because we got it last stream. And I'm pretty sure it was late last stream as well. But other than that, there haven't been... You should leave before you make matters worse. If you come across our boss, it'll be over for you. Haha, <laughs> that's Cap. Um, what was I just going to say? Oh, all the Shadow Pokemon so here so far haven't been... Super, super interesting, other than the Greninja. Like, obviously, I'm not going to drop a Pokemon on my team for, like... Bro, what? Alright. I'm not going to drop a Pokemon on, uh... On my team to add, like, Lipard or Mightyena. You know like that rooftop attack hiya uh cool you won't be going anywhere near the akui library that's where we have the secret oh, i said too much you'll have to be silenced will we now will we all right we got a steelix in here which is good because we do have a a Pokemon that should be good against. Okay, Clones of Darkness. The Steelix is going to raise ev its evasiveness. All right. And that's it. That's all. Okay, well, I guess that's enough, isn't it? Wait, does this thing... This thing must have... Is it Rockhead? That makes it not take any, uh, any recoil? Oh my god, dude. Steelix is so fat. Physically, dude. Steelix has crazy physical defense. Alright. Down goes the Steelix. We take those. Puma's level 62. Luka's level 66. Thievil. Huh. Honestly, I'm so confident in Polaris at this point. I'm just going to send in Polaris. Oh, wait. This thing's, yeah. This thing's a shadow Pokemon. Never mind. Jesus. 
Dude, Polaris is eating everything extremely well. Extremely well. Let's switch into Luke, I guess? Hopefully extreme speed. I think everything else that Luke would use... Jeez, oh, that's a lot of damage. It'll probably die too? Other than extreme speed. Shadow Half. Playing with fire there, Thievel. Playing with fire. I bet that you would like to stay in this Ultra Ball, though. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Polaris is level 56. Voyager is level 65. All right. Down you go. Curses. At this rate, you'll find our secret. I mean, yeah, that's, that's the point of it, isn't it? We're trying to find your secret. Also, uh, I'm okay with uh, just going back to heal every time. I don't really care about that. Anyways, it looks like we got a few items that might be useful here. We got a Destiny Knot, which I know will be useful for, well, can be useful for, and Drain Punch. I'm a big fan of the move Drain Punch. You know that? I really like to... Polaris can learn Drain Punch? Time out. Time out. Why can this thing learn Drain Punch? What? No way. This is actually in Pokemon. This thing can legitimately learn Drain Punch in Gen 8. What was Game Freak smoking when they said, Hey, let's let Togekiss learn Drain Punch. Poglaris, yeah. I don't think I'm going to teach Drain Punch to Polaris. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. What's going on here? Um, I think we keep extreme speed and we probably just get rid of close combat yeah i know drain punch only has 75 power but really i'd rather heal my hp anyways very very useful uh area very useful area okay what's in here oh is this the library there are no secret switches in this library don't even bother looking well we now know that we're gonna have to look for a secret switch we now know that. Akui Clan Tosh Toshoka? Possibly. Stay out of our Akui library. The secrets of our clan are not meant for outsiders. Oh, thanks for the toxic spikes? Clones of Darkness. Okay. Interesting. So we've got Dark Normal here. Might as well just click EQ. Honestly, I have confidence. Oh, oh no. That's a lot of damage. Well, we'll send out Polaris here because Polaris will not get poisoned and it will uh, not get affected by counter and it resists uh, at least one of the stabs. So let's go for Dazzling Gleam. Scary face. Oh no. Alright, I thought I was going to take it out. Unfortunate. Let's go for Aura Sphere. Take this thing out real quick. Down goes the Obstagon. Or, I always say Obstagon! A chat. Every time I say Obstagon, call me out on it. Obstagoon. Oh my goodness. I'm tweaking. Also, if this is a Shadow Scolipede, I may or may not freak out. I may or may not freak out if this is a Shadow Scolipede. Let's go into Salem. Oh, it's not. I thought I thought we'd only be... Bruh. I thought this trainer only had two Pokemon. Down goes Scolipede. There we go. All right. Yo, is it? I want you to know, I named the title of the stream. 
Kyogre has given us rain. Or something like that. Something along those lines. Wait, does this dude have a Shadow Lucario? If so... If so, that'd be crazy. But I will not be needing to catch the Shadow Lucario. Oh my god, dude. Look at this design. I love all of the designs of like all these Shadow Pokemon so far. They look so cool. Um, I want you to know, though, I named the uh, stream title something about rain because um, it's been like we've had like two straight weeks in Minnesota of like zero rain and it finally rained today. So thankful. Plus, I probably won't be melting in here because the high today was like mid 60s, which is like perfect in my opinion. That's like the ideal temperature to me. All right. Let's continue on. Let's get going. Let's get jamming. Let's continue jamming, actually. Let's get these. All right. So it looks like we need to find a secret switch in here somewhere. Thunder Wave. Can anyone learn Thunder Wave and uh, will it be useful? If... Polaris can learn Thunder Wave. Bruh, what's going on with Polaris here? I would like to know. I am requesting ass assistance. Alright. Okay, so clearly there's a switch in here somewhere. We're gonna check in like obvious spots. Okay. And then behind the books. Okay. I assumed it would be behind the books. We'll check here as well. I'm trying to think if there's any obvious errors in any of these. I don't believe there is. Uh, it's full of books on ninja techniques. Alright. It's a book about genetic research. How to splice cellulose and RNA. Sounds interesting. It's full on books on how to commit crimes. Wait, they make books for that? Hey, yo. Hmm. Ninja techniques. Ninja techniques. All right. Ninja techniques. Ninja techniques. Ninja techniques. Ninja techniques. How many more ninja techniques we got? I wonder if this is just like a, a chance. Ooh, there's a switch. You felt a change in the room. And look at that. Did I heal my Pokemon? I'm pretty sure I healed them, yeah. All right, let's save the game. Just in case. Just in case. Okay, never mind. Oh, wow. We found the underground network of, of Akui. Of Yami, or Yami, Akui, both? I think both. I really hope that's thunder and not like, I don't know, something else. Hey, yo, Dragonite? You want to calm down for a second? You will never defeat the Akui Clan. Uh, Akui Clan technique, shadow style, ninja agility. And we got spikes. All right. Let's see if we can 1v1 this thing. That's a no. That's a no. <laughs> that's a no. Outsped and Dragon Rush. Tough. Well, good thing. Good thing we have Protein Greninja and Ice Beam here. Rain Dance. Got the, got the, oh, God. I hit my mic. I'm so sorry. Well, I hope I can use Hydro Cannon on the next Pokemon that comes in here. Level 63 on Fuma. Level 58 on Polaris. All right. Volcarona. Speaking of... Shadow Volcarona. Excuse me. What's going on here? What in the hell is going on here? Alright, let's go into uh, Salem. Forgot this thing's name for a second. Shadow Wave. Ow. 
That hurt. Um, how much does flamethrower do? I'm guessing not that much because we're in the rain. Yeah. Hurricane. Damn. This thing hit hurricane. Oh, wait. It's raining out. Ha. Huh. Huh. Well, Corona came to it. Was this thing in hyper mode? So I'm hoping this thing can survive an EQ because I would really enjoy a Volcarona. Just as, you know, a collectible. <laughs> that sounds so bad. All right, it survives, sweet. Now my team on the other hand, will we try and catch this thing? Probably not, but let's try an Ultra Ball just in case. You know, I don't remember Volcarona's catch rate, but clearly it's very low. <laughs> clearly it's very low. <laughs> Huh. Well, the rain has stopped, so there's a chance that Hurricane misses. That's a good thing. Let's go ahead and yawn this thing. Ow. That really hurt. Maybe we should have taught Thunder Wave to this thing so we can catch more Shadow Pokemon. <laughs> Let's go for another Ultra Ball, and then we'll start using Timer Balls when this thing falls asleep. Let's see here. One. Two. Two. Ooh, okay. Okay. Alright, this thing's asleep now, so let's go ahead and use a timer ball. Come on. I think in our I'm thinking our chances are okay here. Two, three. Huh. That makes me upset. Let's go ahead and timer ball here. Another one. Let's see here. One, two, three. There we go. Shadow Volcarona. I'm a fan. Just of the design, you know? All the Shadow Pokemon in this game. I will continue to say this forever and always, but uh, all the Shadow designs in this game are amazing. Anyways, let's grab uh, quite... A bit of items down here we've got an escape rope we've got an ultra jam I'm hoping I would assume I would assume so we've got two a keys I believe out of five it said somewhere or maybe I saw that in chat maybe I did who knows Bro, was that just lightning uh, that had to be lightning because there's no other there's no other way that would happen. All right. All righty then. Let's go back in here. Okay, sweet. I'm just gonna say. I feel like that's just more, more work on the developers to make it reset. Hmm. We've got some, some of that. What's over here? more hmm. I'm really interested in this kind of like underground network I think it's pretty cool I think it's pretty cool also let's um switch our items with Polaris and Jin because apparently Jin is less is a lower level at this point at least our Pokemon are all roughly around the same level it's my duty to protect Yami Island but I only care about testing my strength hiya Which way is it? Is it this way? I think it's that way. Let's go. Conkelder! Maybe we should have switched um, players up front. My strength is unmatched. A Kui clan technique. Shadow style. Muscle control. Is that like meditation or some shit? Attack and defense rose sharply plus the spikes. Hey, so uh, would you like to meet my friend Polaris the Togekiss? Please and thank you. Oh no. Oh no, this thing just used focus punch. <laughs> and we still resist it quite a bit. All right, let's go ahead, Dazzling Gleam. This thing didn't even use uh, focus punch. Oh, cause it has Stone Edge. Maybe that's why. Well, I'm glad you used focus punch again because now you're gonna die. Hmm. 
All right. Salem's level 67, so is Luke. All right. Let's keep going. Hariyama. I think we're good against this thing. You know that? I think we're pretty good against this Hariyama. Let's go ahead. Dazzling Gleam. All right. Heavy Slam. Oh, this might hurt. Oh, yeah. That hurts. That really hurts. Okay. Um... Let's go into Fuma, because Fuma will outspeed, and then we can extra sensory this thing and become a psychic type. I was going to say, why is this thing moving before us? But it's because it used a door. Fine with that, let's go ahead and extra sensory one more time. Down goes the Hariyama. There we go. Voyage is level 66. Passimian. Next Pokemon in here. Oh, it's a Shadow Passimian. All right. Um, you wanna you wanna catch this uh this um should we go for hydro cannon? We'll stay with extra sensory. How about that? I think that's a good idea. Maybe that's not a good idea, but maybe it is. Who knows? I felt like we can catch Passimian in other places in this game, but why not just try and catch it here? Why not? Well, I think our party's pretty much set, but... Oh, wow, you don't want to get in the ball now, do you? Huh. Well, say hello to my friend Voyagers, who will probably not take, like, any damage from you, because it's a goddamn Torterra. Let's go ahead and throw a timer ball, shall we? Shall we? Let's see here. There we go. Caught the Passimian. Probably just got unlucky that turn. Power is down for the count. What was the inspiration behind Torterra's nickname? So there is a national park in northern Minnesota, the state that I'm from, that's called Voyager's National Park. And it's spelt like that. So that's why I named Torterra after. I'm sure there's probably a cooler inspiration for having that name, but that was my inspiration behind it. And it's also weird because the National Park isn't spelled like... Oh, that's interesting. Because... It's also weird because it's like it's not spelled... That way, you know? If that makes any sense. I don't think it does. It's not spelled how normal Voyagers is spelled. Spicy crab roll. Dude, I just ate a ton of pizza for dinner. And you guys... And this game's going to make me hungry again. God dang it. Oh, can we not smash this rock? Or no, it's gonna turn into the it's gonna turn into a trainer. Yeah. Huh. I think we should just lead with Polaris at this point, because Polaris is basically good against any Pokemon they have. Whoa, this is no ordinary rock. Haha, <laughs> you stupid foolish Kenshi. You fell for my rock disguise. Again! You really never learned, do you? This time I won't lose. Give me all of your Pokemon. <laughs> no, really, uh, the, the reason I had to uh, try and rock smash you is that you were in the way of a key. Skunk, a uh, skunk tank. Interesting, well. This is the first Pokemon that like, you know. <laughs> of course, the first battle I switched Togekiss up front for is the one where Jin would done way better. Maybe it's spelled like that because it's in another language. Looks like it could be French or something. I mean, yeah, that's that's definitely that definitely would make sense because it's right near the boundary waters. Obviously, it's not part of the it's not near the French part of Canada, but you know that region. I believe is that region part of the Louisiana Purchase? Possibly. Minnesota is basically cut in half. Half of it was the Louisiana Purchase, and half of it was the Revolutionary War. I'm pretty sure. So. I don't know which half it's part of, but it would make sense if it was French Canadian. If not, Minnesota's stereotype is that everyone here is Scandinavian, um, which is just not true because I am 0% Scandinavian at all. Alright, let's see here. Titar! Let's go into Luke. 
Wait a second. Time out. Is this about to be the Shadow Tyranitar? Oh my goodness, it's a Shadow Tyranitar. Well, fancy seeing you here. You can catch this Meteor Mash. Jesus, that does no damage. Oh, <laughs> bruh. I like how it summons the stand Sandstorm, but it's like not. It still gets damage. Oh my god, dude. Oh, and it's in hyper mode? And it gets hit by Sandstorm? Wait, are you gonna die here? That really just happened, didn't it? That really just happened. Thunder 2 Pog? No, that is not a Pog moment, unfortunately. Unfortunately, that's not a Pog moment. Peevil's the next Pokemon in here. Honestly, if this thing's a Shadow, I'm not even catching it at this point. I'm pretty sure we've already got one. Oh yeah, you're just normal, okay. Looks like it's time to get serious. A Kui clan technique. Shadow style. Cones of darkness. Or clones of darkness. Excuse me. I can't believe the T-Tar just killed its... <laughs> in hyper mode and in sandstorm. That's so annoying. Maybe I shouldn't have attacked it again with a, with a meteor mash, but still. Kind of upsetting. More than kind of. Very upsetting. Very upsetting, if I'm being honest. Parting shot? Who else do you have to go into, bruh? You have no other Pokemon to go into. Stop using parting shot. You're just trying to make this more tedious for both of us. Alright, bro, can you just hit Dazzling Gleam? Just one Dazzling Gleam? Just one Dazzling Gleam, please and thank you. Bro, what is going on? It just came to my attention that I could have probably used Aura Sphere that entire time because Aura Sphere doesn't miss. And now I feel like an idiot. <laughs> Anyways, down you go. Yeah. Gah! There's no way. How did you get even stronger? Gah. This isn't over. We'll steal your Pokemon and corrupt them. I swear it. I swear it?